Hi friends, you have just seen the free up and down movement of the paper cone of a 8 inch subwoofer for a frequency sweep between 20 Hz and 120 Hz. When an audio signal is fed to the loudspeaker terminals, the cone must move up and down freely without any friction of the voice coil within the magnetic gap. Sometimes a dust particle inside the gap can cause trouble. It may also happen due to lead wear or dry adhesive joint in the cone spider assembly. Any kind of friction or loose adhesive joint in the cone coil and spider assembly can generate unwanted noise from the speaker. Here is an easy way to check such fault. We are going to use a simple AC-DC power supply in which a small step-down transformer of which the primary input voltage is 220 volt AC mains and the secondary output voltage is 606 volt. This type of step-down transformer is used. By using two diodes and a capacitor, we get a DC voltage of about 6 volt and from the two ends of 6 volts, we can get a 12 volt AC supply. Let us draw a diagram of the AC-DC power supply. Here is the circuit diagram of the power supply. Now we shall check the DC and AC output voltages by a digital meter. The power supply switch is made on. And the DC voltage is showing 7.4 volts without load. Now let us measure the AC voltage which shows 13.3 volts with line frequency of 50 cycles. By applying DC voltage to speaker terminals we can check the polarity. Connecting the power supply positive and negative leads to the speaker positive and negative terminals will show the speaker cone moving upward. Now the 12 volt AC leads are being connected to the terminal and we see the vibration of paper cone at 50 Hz line frequency. For a good speaker, the cone will move freely and there will be no other noise. We can also test a tweeter in the same way. Because of its small size, sound level will be lower. And here is a defective speaker we can find on pressing the cone the voice coil touches the pole.
connecting the AC leads to the speaker terminal and we listen to the rappling and noisy sound. This is how we can make a primary checking of a speaker.